Well, your fence, the property lines here. I think there's one. We need to advance. Not the day for me to be wearing white. Work in the land. Work in the land. So, most of you guys know that I spent all of or most of 2021 renovating the house that I'm now currently living in. We worked in it for months and the one and only thing that we did not do and like renovate was the backyard space. I was honestly just like tired of not living in here. I was ready to move in and I just didn't want to wait any longer and wait for the backyard to be done. So I moved myself in and that was the beginning of the fall and then it was winter and like obviously we couldn't renovate during the winter. So we figured that we would just start working on it next spring. And here we are. Next spring, winter is definitely behind us at this point, thank goodness. With the warmer months and summer approaching, this is like the time to get started on the backyard. Obviously I want to be able to spend the summer and enjoy it and read my book outside, have people over, eat dinner out there, all that fun stuff. So the first thing we had to do was come up with a concept idea. And if you guys are new here or unfamiliar, my dad and I did the whole project of this house together. So we figured we would put our brains together and figure out what to do for the backyard. Okay. Paper, pen. Okay. So we're gonna get some dimensions, right? I know that there's a little window over here, right? We want another dimension of that, and then we're gonna want another dimension to that. Brilliant. Great. Give me 64 inches to the edge of the window. 40, lighting door. Let's give it a 59. Figure out this length. 29 and a half. The stairs have run down as far as this. So the precedent's been set that you could have something as far back as here. And just like, the, you can go all the way back, but just expect people to be walking. Yeah. People go with a fence to six feet. Okay. And that's six feet. That's pretty good. Well, your fence, the property line's here. So they just decided to move it back a little bit further. You could have it in front of this fence also. Right, right, right. Have it. Then you've got all of this stuff, which yeah. is your stuff. No, I like these trees. Exactly. So They're we, pretty in the winter. So yeah, so you don't necessarily want to hurt them. No. Here, we're going to Unless put, we just add bushes to block. Well, this is, I think, probably the, the deal. Or more of them, but in the front of them. Also. Yeah, because right now I can see right there. So you could even put like six foot fence here. Right? right? So you don't see any of that. So that disappears. So you get a little fencing and then you can put greenery right across. So you're going to see a wall of fencing down this side. And then there's still some decent privacy, but we may need to trim all of that back to put your new greenery along. The yeah. Fence. Yeah. Imagine your space now, right? You got a kind of fence line down here. You got a green line down there with like a little retaining wall. Mm -hmm. And then you've got this patio um, space that can go literally from, you know, the edge of this yeah. All the way over to here. So it's the width of your window space. Which is plenty. It's nice. Yes, it's cozy, right? So let's just imagine this. You have to figure out how big you can be on the seating, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's say table like that. And then you have chair, chair, chair. Let's say this yeah. is all tiled, like here. For sure. You could have it just a stone patio. You could have it as a wood deck, whatever style you want. So let's just say this is all some sort of tile or something you know and then this little thing breaks either from in the middle or off to the side mm -hmm. so if you were to have let's say fire table you know maybe this is how you get to it or something as per usual my dad is very calculated he went home and he went and put our ideas together into a more detailed sketch of what the backyard could be proper dimensions and kind of throwing in furniture samples just to see how much space there would be and all that jazz nice and, uh, okay so what have we here? What have we? Oh! Oh! Wow! Look at that! Naturally, my dad being my dad made four different mock-ups. So here's the first two, and then here's the second two options. Here's basically the whip, right? Beauty! We're that saying, looks nice. We're saying we're going to come from right at this edge of the window and put bushes and maybe flowers and stuff like that. Nice! All, all the way along. And I kind of wanted to look how far did we have to have a retaining wall. Not that far. I think this one's my kind of almost my favorite. I think I agree with you because I think it would look a lot nicer looking at the fire table versus 
a table, obviously. An exposing couch. I am not the most patient gal, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I have an idea, when I want something, I tend to try to do it immediately, like right away. If I have an idea of cutting my hair, I am going up to the bathroom and I'm cutting it myself. I'm very like quick, spontaneous with that kind of stuff. So I was like, let's just, let's just start digging some stuff up. Let's, let's start. I was definitely ready to start seeing the space like become this vision we've now created in our heads. We had also decided last year that we were gonna do the backyard completely ourselves. My dad has a lot of experience in landscaping. He did it for many, many years when he was younger. Also have a lot of people in my life that are very strong and willing to want to move some rock around. So we figured it would be a very easy family fun activity for all of us to work in the backyard together. So thus we started digging. Right. Now, is the retaining wall going to come all the way up to the top of the air conditioning? Um, well, we'll decide how high we want it okay. based on the cutback over here. Yeah. This will give us at least a general idea. Okay. It sounds pretty hard, like there's all this rock and shit. Well, there looks like there's some big rocks. Like, see all the old plants and roots and yeah stuff. Oh. like a lot what is that oh flowers it's a beautiful flower well that's sad well sad but we need to advance the reason we're doing this is just kind of getting an idea of what's underneath and how high the retaining wall is going to need to be not the day for me to be wearing white these little mini fences give me cemetery vibes i do not we do not a little plant coming up here where there oh it's like a weed Work in the land. Work in the land. There's gonna be a lot of rocks. All rocks all along here. It's kind of like a rock garden almost. Yeah. Right. Oof. Another one. Oh. R.I.P. Come on, get in there. <laughs> I'm wearing all this white. I wore the wrong stuff today. Yeah, for a landscaping project. I know. Let me just, I'm just gonna put on a different sweater. And I've put on better shoes. Cause uh, I didn't want to ruin my other ones. They're very fashionable too. Thanks. Very, very important. And black. No more white. Oh. Another rock. How about that? How about that? I know, I wish you were here too, man. Okay, so we're building out like Progress is most definitely happening now. I feel like this even looks better than <laughs> what it did before we started today. It was completely blown up. Yeah, blown up, but for some reason it looks better. I'm getting a good visual here of what's going on. Uh, oh my God. Put your toes. Uh, okay. These are, I got heavier boots on now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's not steel toes in there. You're not protected. It's almost level, right? Yes. It's looking like that way to me, for sure. Does it look perfectly level? Yeah. Over here, we want to get the elevation. We want it perfectly flat here. Okay. Ideally, even drain that way, but I don't think so. I think that's higher than that. Obviously, when I say we started digging, my father started digging. Very quickly, we realized this is a much bigger job than we kind of had really wrapped our head around. Obviously, it's, there's a lot of work to be done, but when you start thinking and calculating all of the different things that have to happen, it just started getting a little overwhelming. You know, we had to build retaining walls, sloping the backyard, which means like digging it down and like also lifting all of the stone that's already there, which is super heavy, building fences, pouring concrete, like just, a lot of work. So then we decided, okay, maybe we do hire out. And when I say we, like my dad just helps me with this stuff, but this is obviously, you know, my house. So we reached out to the contractor that renovated the house and asked for his availability, which is a nightmare. We reached out to another guy who actually came and did a quote and we talked about it with him and I got the quote yesterday. Mm. Much 
more expensive than I anticipated. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did anticipate after speaking to him that it was gonna be around 50 thousand dollars but i was really hoping it wouldn't be i was really hoping so to see 60 no big fat no 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 for many reasons it was a hard no one i just did not want to spend that amount of money for a backyard i mean maybe i don't i don't know if this was my forever home maybe but it's not i will be here for i don't know how many years but not 10 probably i don't know either way I didn't want to spend that money. I just didn't want to do it. Now there are ways of bringing that quote down, getting rid of the fire pit that they were going to install, which I'm sure would be beautiful, but unnecessary. I could buy my own fire pit and it would be cheaper if I still wanted to do that. The turf, I could get rid of that idea. Instead of doing turf in between all of the stone, I would just have it be stone, get rid of the built-in bench around the fire pit. There were some ways to bring it down to around 40. Still no for me. So my dad came over once again to, again, discuss some options. One of the reasons why I think it looked as expensive as it did, the quote that you just got, one of it is he's giving you the fire pit, which is like big money. Oh well, yes. But also the retaining wall, I think he's, I think he's quoted it two ways. Like one with bench, one without bench. Yes. The one without bench is much cheaper. So those two things that really make it expensive. And, and the then, turf. Yes. And the turf. You take all of that away, then it's a, a, a more reasonable thing, but maybe more than you want to spend. Yes. You just put those rocks along where that line is and put a couple plants and you're back to where you started. Right. If you really wanted to do that, it'd be very easy to do. The lowest cost solution, because you want something I just really want the privacy. Let's just say you just want a fence, and that's it, and you leave everything else the same. This That's the cheapest thing you can right. possibly do, right? You leave the bark. The bark is ugly. Okay, so you want to get rid of the bark too, right? I want to make it look clean. Clean right. and okay, private. So there is some cleanup required, yes. and that's part of the problem, is you got to get the shit out of here. What I'm seeing here, though, the issue will be is it's only a certain width, which yes. is fine because you just are saying, I want a table out there, right? Mm -hmm. So you put a little thing here and maybe it requires a strip of grass, a sod. So imagine your whole deck being this little flagstone thing. Perfect for a table. But it would be nicer if you could bring it out. Okay, so if you were to drop, then you'd have to get flagstones and kind of try and match them. He'd want to have it properly leveled. Or you could just bite the bullet. I can't bite the bullet. That's not an option. Okay, so then, then that's what you would do, right? Honestly, this is where we're at now. This is where we are. I don't really know what we're gonna do. The guy that quoted the massive quote, I'm sure the job would have been beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's just not for me. His earliest availability was going to be in the fall. The fall. So current plan is we're gonna reach back out to him and ask if we can do just some simple things like clean it up back there, add some fencing so I have the privacy that I'm looking for, throw in some plans, just clean it up because now it's really messy and see if maybe he can squeeze me in before the fall, you know, like maybe in June. Oh, he just replied. Bummer. Highly doubt we can get this project earlier than October, November of this year. Would this be a deal breaker? <laughs> ah! Anyways, this is where we're at with the backyard. We don't really know what we're gonna do. Ideally, I don't wanna have the space look like that for the whole summer. So, more brainstorming to come. I'll keep you updated. But, that is where we're at with the backyard renovation. I don't even, I don't know. Hopefully you enjoy the process of this. I, I wish there was more. I truly, for myself, wish there was more so that I can come and have a beautiful backyard to hang out in the summer. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be happening. So, we're gonna keep going. Obviously, this is not the end of the world. It's fine, I, it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but this is kind of what's going on. Contractors are majorly backed up, just still due to the pandemic, it's insane. And the prices are also like significantly higher than they were pre-pandemic. Just the supply of everything, it's, it's crazy. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. If you have any ideas and suggestions and, and anything, comment section is open and available. But until I have more for you, this is where we're at with the backyard. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I will continue to bring you along on this journey and see what the heck happens back there. Who's to say? Anyways, love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed once again, and I will see you in the next one.